Alert, this game includes jump scares, gore, unsettling atmosphere, and upsetting themes. If you are sensitive to any of these, proceed with caution. Notice, before playing, make sure your driver is updated or else certain effects in the game will not appear. Click here to view the other Finest Warriors games made by Epic Taggy Games. Dedicated to WWW Wario, thanks for making the Finest Warriors series. We will always appreciate you. Press space to continue. Finest Warriors Cabin Fever. What does change log do? Oh, that's just a disclaimer section. Okay, so we have fruit skins. Okay, sleek and shiny, default, old timey look. And then what are the options? Okay, we got screen size, V sync toggle, anti aliasing. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And then erase the data. Okay, we got standard mode, a mode which we got to unlock, I believe, and then trophies. Standard mode. Locked in a cabin with no way out, forced to make a melody for an unseen watcher, survive five days and find out why you have been chosen. Oh, and we're on to the main menu. Okay. What's going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Five Nights of Wario's Cabin Fever. Where this is a Five Nights... I mean, this is... Sorry, I stumbled on my words. Where this is a Five Nights of Wario's fan game made by Epic Taggy Games, the, who is also the creator of Five Nights of Wario's High Rollers, Five Nights of Wario's Trapped Within, and Five Nights of Wario's 3 Customer Edition. And that's actually a nice main menu screen with rain on it. Music made by, or music made by number one Jenny, which this is a really good music for the main menu. Thank you, number one Jenny, for selecting this music because it sounds really beautiful. Sounds really beautiful, actually. Clickable text by X Warry. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Information section that just gives us info on stuff, which I'm, that's not special or anything. Story, practice, and extras. All right, so let's jump into the game. Ooh, we got a nice setup. Alright, I don't know why the screen just went dark, but I guess that means starting the game. So, without further ado, we'll take on night one, see what has offer for us. Ooh, listen to the radio, that's some nice music. We're coming in with more information about the girl who ran away from her house, and supposedly she has been spotted in an old cabin nearby her home. Those who have attempted to save the girl have reportedly been unsuccessful and have been seen in that area again. Police are doing everything in their power to get her out of there. Tune in later for more information about the situation. Oh, so we're in a cabin in this game, in the forest. Wow, that's a well-lit cabin. Look at that. Okay, message will go away in 19 seconds. Play the music on the yellow stand. Note if the yellow man appears, which is Wario. Play the music on the purple stain note if the purple one appears, which is Waluigi. Oh, so we have a flute we can use to play the music. Okay, so this is for Wario. I don't know who the two pink ones are for. But the purple one's for Waluigi. Alright. Let's go look around the cabin. Okay, so we have two windows to check. That's the right one. We're in the lounge. This is the left window, which I see Waluigi, so... Looks like we're dealing with Wario and Waluigi this night. Okay. Wario, okay, so Waluigi's gonna come from the left window, Wario's come from the right, right window. Ugh, why is Waluigi holding a skeleton? Is he telling me that's gonna be you once I get to you and kill you? Oh, alright, that's a well lit fire. Nice. And that's a nice cabin we're in. Oop. Oh god, Waluigi's poking his head through the window. He's poking through. He's about to come in and get me. So I gotta be ready for him. Ah! Wario's eyes are popping out! Why are his eyes popping out? That's creepy. Okay, so I'm looking at the music notes for Waluigi 4324. And then we'll take a look at Wario's music notes, too. One, two, four, one. Okay. Okay, Wario's coming close. Yeah! Waluigi, okay. Uh, four, three, two, four. Okay, so we got rid of Waluigi. Good, okay. So if Wario and Waluigi's coming in like Wario's coming in now, then we have to play the flute. 
and we have to play these notes to scare them off. Okay, here's my first question. Why a flute to scare them off? That's kind of weird. Flute's more of an instrument that could put someone to sleep in these type of games. Okay, we're always going to come through, because I see his hand poking his hands through the window. He's basically saying, oh, I'm going to come get you. <laughs> Whoop. Warriors here. Play the notes. Uh, one, two, four, one. There we go. Got rid of Wario. Good. There's Waluigi. He's about to come in. Wario left. Good. Check for Waluigi, who is holding a skeleton. I don't know why, but that's kind of creepy and scary at the same time. He's basically saying, Oh, I'm going to come get you, little girl. <laughs> and then Wario's like, Yeah, I'm going to come get you, you little child. <laughs> I'm sorry if that was a bad Wario and Waluigi voice. I'm sorry if that was a bad voice. <laughs> okay, Waluigi's coming in. So I gotta pull out the purple one. Four, three, two, four. Okay. Yep, Waluigi. Uh, four, three, two, four. There you go. Got rid of Waluigi. Warrior's coming, so I, I see him out the right window. Alright. Okay, I'm checking for Wario, then Waluigi. Waluigi left, Wario's coming. So I should be ready for him. Oh, and we beat 9-1. Perfect. Oh, we get the grandfather clock. Nice. That's a nice touch, actually. I actually own a grandfather clock. And I've actually had that for a long time. Oh, and it just brings us back to the menu. Okay. I've actually owned a grandfather clock, like I just said, and I've had it for a long time. It was made in, like, the 1980s. Which, um... We got that from my grandmother after she passed away several years ago. She purchased that in 1983, as it says on the, the label. Yeah. It's an old grandfather clock, but it still works. Okay, so, just got to give a fun fact that I own it. But um, anyways, without further ado, we will jump into night two since we have enough time to do the video and see what has to happen for us. Oh, we got a cutscene before the cabin incident. Daddy! Dad! Oh my god, I, I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna try to do a girl's voice. Daddy! Daddy! Yes, what is it, my little devil? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> little devil. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do a dad's voice. I'm sorry if it's a bad voice. Uh, yes, what does it? Yes, what is it, my little devil? I made a new song today. I made it for your job. Do you want to hear it? Please, Daddy. Wow, for my job? Huh? Of course, sweetie. I'd love to hear it. Oh, my God. It's, it's the Dad Wario. Oh my. oh, my God. Here's my question. Is the Dad Wario, because I see some yellow text, and is the pink peach... Here's my theory. Is Wario Peach's father? <laughs> okay. That was beautiful, sweetie. You know what? I think I'll bring you to work with me today. And we'll show this directly to my boss. And see what he has to say about it. What do you say? Yay! I'm so excited! Oh. Oh, so this is before the cabin is in. Okay. Next message. The one in the green must have his vision blocked. If he appears, they are getting angry. Oh, so do we have to block his vision? Where do we have to block his vision? Okay, so where do we need to block his vision? Okay, Waluigi. Okay, so we're dealing with Luigi tonight for night two. Okay, do I have to block him through the door or something? 
Okay. Let me run this way, because i got to deal with check for Wario... Check for Wario and Waluigi before I attempt to check for Luigi. Okay, why are we just coming through? Ah! Okay, so how do I deal with Luigi? Let me figure that out. I need to think for a minute how to deal with Luigi. Okay, because this game is challenging. Or should I say night? Oh, yeah. This game's kind of a little challenging and a little bit confusing because we're in a cabin and moving around, but. Yeah, how do I deal with Luigi? Let me figure that out. Okay, I'm going to skip through this since I've already read this. Okay, first off, who, what kind of father calls his daughter? A, a little devil. That's kind of a little weird and kind of extreme. I mean, is Wario the father and is Peach the daughter or something? That's my theory. Because I have, like, all these theories. Okay, let me go see how to deal with Luigi. Okay, so how do I deal with Luigi? I don't know. Let me know in the comments how to deal with him, because I don't know how to deal with Luigi. But we'll figure it out. Or maybe I will... Or another thing I can do is I will check um, some of the other... YouTubers videos on YouTube and then see on the wiki or something if there is a wiki. Okay, how do I deal? Ah! Oh, I figured out how to deal with Luigi. Okay. I believe we gotta flash the light at him to stop him. Okay, that makes that makes sense. And apparently these cutscenes are gonna take place before the cabin incident. Okay. Luigi, see him, okay. I hear them moving. Hang on, I see red eyes through the freezer. Is that Luigi with the red eyes? Is that Luigi or something, or is that like peas? Like, like who has, who's with the, who has the red eyes in the freezer? And also, since when does Luigi live in a freezer? That's kind of scary. Not to mention you, you'd freeze to death if you were stuck in a freezer for that long. Okay. Yeah! God, how do I deal with Luigi? How? 
you know what, I'm actually going to end my video here because this is just really confusing and frustrating, but anyways, we will continue on with night two and part two of the Let's Play. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment, and subscribe. I appreciate the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.